Brian Boucher, NBC, the NHL last night. The Flyers were back against the Jets after an eight-game layoff. And a uh, guy who played a lot of goalie in this town. And uh, I know for a while, the question was always, Boosh, what's going on with the goalie in Philadelphia? And uh, I wonder if you're watching this kid and wondering if that question will finally go away. Yeah, he keeps doing what he's doing. It's going to go away. Uh, that's for sure. Um, it's always been a story here in Philadelphia, and I'm sure he's fully aware of the history uh, or a lack thereof uh, in in recent decades. Uh, but it certainly doesn't seem to bother him at all. I, I've been really impressed with how poised and how composed he is for 20 years old uh, to manage his nerves uh, the way he has. And, and trust me, there's nerves uh, as a young guy. Um He's done a really good job, and look, it's a small sample size, and you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but uh, if you're a Flyers fan, you got to be really excited about the future and goal with this guy. Yeah, what are some of the things that impresses you? Is it more the mental makeup, or is there actually, you know, obviously the skill that he has on the ice, but what is it about his style of play that convinces you maybe that, yep, he's got it? Well, I think it's I think it's two uh, two things. I mean, the, the style with which he plays, uh, from a technical standpoint, there doesn't seem to be a lot of holes. He seems to be smooth. Uh, you know, he, he's economical in his movements. He's not overly aggressive. Uh, I, I've liked his depth in the last couple games. He's not so he's not deep deep in the crease. I mean, he seems to play uh, when it's time to be aggressive. He's aggressive, but it's not it's not too much. He's in control of himself at all times, and. You know, the, the puck handling as a young guy I think is adequate. Uh, certainly that's something he'll continue to work on, but it, it's not something that when he goes out and plays the puck, you're, you know, you're biting your fingernails. Um, and then the other side of it is just his composure. I mean, when you watch him make saves, if you watch the game last night, I mean, he made a glove save on Patrick Laine where Laine was in a real scoring area right in the middle of the ice, and he just stared him down and made a glove save, uh, was calm about it. He didn't put a lot of flash on it. It wasn't like, uh, you know, he did the big windmill and show, showed up line A. He just made the save very matter-of-factly, like, I'm right here. Uh, try and beat me. And this is a guy that scored 44 goals last year. This is, this is a guy who's second uh, in goals for uh, since he entered the league behind Alex Ovechkin. So this is a real good goal scorer that Carter Hart just said, you know what, I got this, made the save, and – you know, gave the puck to the linesman for a face-off. It, it, his composure to me for a 20-year-old is is remarkable. I, I I think back to when I was 20 and playing in the American Hockey League and how nervous I would be before games and thinking that this was the biggest game of my career and wanting to get to the National Hockey League and how much pressure you put on yourself internally. When I see him play, I just don't see any of this. I mean, this guy is in the National Hockey League on a team that – is in desperate need of saves, and, and he's providing it like he's 28, 29 years old. So from a technical standpoint, from a mental side, the kid has a lot of tools, and he's, he's fun to watch right now. Boost, what are your thoughts on the Flyers' play in front of Carter Hart? And you've probably had personal experience this, with this during your playing days. And, you know, I think the whole team has really just woken up since Carter Hart has been inserted in, into the net and – have been playing really tough for him in front of him, particularly defensively. So I want your thoughts on what you've seen and if you kind of agree with that assessment. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're spot on with it. I, I think he's brought a newfound energy to the team. Um, they were they were hurting for saves. Uh, they were hurting for goaltenders to stay healthy. Uh, but when that happens, you know, anytime you make a mistake as a skater, as a forward or a defenseman, you know, you have this, like, fear that the puck is going to end up in the back of your net. And it can it can erode at your confidence. And what I think he's done is he's come in here. One, it's brought some newfound life to the hockey club. People are now starting to talk about the Philadelphia Flyers. Even if they're just talking about Carter Hart, there's some interest in the Flyers again. And from that, the guys know, look, they got to protect the young guy in there. They want to make sure they're not giving up odd-man rushes uh, all night long. So they want to protect them. But then they start to see him make some saves, and they realize, hey, if we make a little bit of a mistake here, it's not always going to end up in the back of our net. So now guys can kind of play with a little bit more confidence, maybe maybe take a little bit more risk in their game, knowing that this guy can make a save. And it's a two-way street. They play off of each other, and I think that um, 
you know, the defense is solidified. The pairs seem to be good. I know that Goss's pair was out last night, but, uh, you know, they seem to, to have found a nice pairing with Sanheim and Provorov, and uh, Gudis is doing a nice job. And then up, up, up front, putting Giroux back at the middle, I think, is the right play because it allows Van Riemsdyk to play with him. And now Van Riemsdyk is playing in top six minutes and not playing on the third line. And uh, it allows Patrick to play that third line and get away from some matchups. So I, I think all in all, it's it's just been a real nice coming together. Uh, how long it can last for is up to the guys inside that locker room. But you got to give a lot of credit to the kid for, for bringing it all together the way he has. You just kind of alluded to it, but I want you to elaborate a little bit more. The Flyers' depth. I mean, last night the fourth line gets a goal against a team like the Jets. That's a big deal. That's what's going to get you wins when you really need one. Is that sustainable? And what are your thoughts on on the depth overall now that the Flyers have? It's sustainable if guys like Nolan Patrick play to his capabilities. And that has not been the case for a large chunk of the season. Um, you know, if he can play – like they expect him to play the number two overall pick. I mean, this guy is, he's not just supposed to go out there and take a shift. And it's great that he's responsible defensively, but you want him to chip in offensively as well. A guy has a good skill set. He put up numbers in junior, and you'd expect him to do it here in the National Hockey League. If he can do that, now you've slotted this team, you know, appropriately. I mean, you got Giroux at center at number one. Two is Couturier, who plays against all the other team's top players, but still provides offense allows Lindblom to play in the top six who plays with Couturier because Couturier is responsible and so is Lindblom, but Lindblom's not taken away from Couturier's offense. And you got a pretty darn good right winger with him in Jake Voracek. Uh, and, and and now you've brought up a kid in uh, Vorobiev who last night I thought he was fantastic in the game. I mean, he didn't look like he was out of sorts at all. Um, and if he can feel comfortable playing fourth line minutes, you, you now you've got some depth. And, you know, that, that's what they're looking for. But if guys underperform and now you have to juggle things around and put Couturier with Giroux and move Van Riemsdyk on down, I don't see how it works. I think the way they've got it set up right now, Lawton's on the left side with Patrick and Simmons on the right side. It's a nice third line. you got Lawton, who's a responsible player, a guy that can play center if, ha- if you have to. But he's a guy that I think is a, a real energy guy, a real team guy. Um, makes for a good third line. And if you do that, I think the balance is there for this hockey club and you get the saves. And now you start to see that this is a team that a lot of people thought could be a playoff team. They've underperformed, but now you're starting to see that they're they're not all that bad. Uh, What a goalie uh, making the big save does for you and the rest of the team. Brian Boucher is with us here, NBC, NHL. Uh, You brought up a point we've been kind of debating on the NBA circle about you know, these when they're ready and the young guys come in the league. And, and I would, you know, I say all the time, Bri, that it's not that talent wise they're not ready. A lot of the time it's just maturity. They're just not ready for the 82 game season, the travel, the, the responsibility with comes when you get that paycheck, all of that. And in the NHL, you see a kid, Carter Hart, 20 years old. You just don't see that too often. Is that like, what is your take on a guy? coming into a league and being a professional and when you think it's like that age where, yeah, there's exceptions. There are some 18 and 19. There is a LeBron James that can do it. But when do you think you were like, I'm a, I can handle being a professional now. Yeah. I mean, for me, I got to, you know, make some mistakes down in the minors for two years. And I thought for me, it was appropriate. And I probably should have stayed one more year in the minors to be quite honest with you with my career to, to to really learn to be a number one at the pro level. Uh, I came up my third year pro and it worked out well. It was a great rookie season, but looking back on it, I probably needed a little, a little more seasoning for me personally. Now, you know, with Hart, it, it appears to be a different story. I think we're dealing with a guy that dominated junior hockey, uh, did all he could do at that level. And, you know, now he's in a situation where he, you know, a few bumps in the road at the American League level when he started this year, but seemed to be playing good hockey when he got called up. And he's finding that the NHL game might be a little bit easier than the American League level. So the the learning curve for him has been really, really quick. And everybody's different. And when you look at some guys, they seem to get nervous in the moment. They seem to get caught up or they look too far ahead or they dwell on the past. 
uh, for Carter Hart, he, I've read plenty of articles about, you know, how much work he does on the mental side, and it's not a joke. I mean, he you can tell that this guy is in the moment. He's focused on stopping pucks. Hold he gave up. He's not worried about, you know, tomorrow night. He's worried about right now, and that's a, a real huge thing to, to have as a young guy, to be able to, to be in the moment and, and play to the best of your ability the way he has at 20 years old. Not Not many guys have it, so the hope is that he can continue to do it. The hope is that they don't put him in situations where he can't succeed. Um, and that way you can get the most out of him at a young age. Especially at that position, right? I mean, you see guys that can play, you know, score goals, but to play goaltender at that age, that's that's something different. Well, because, I mean, if you're a winger and, you know, you make a mistake, turn it over, you might have a defenseman who makes a great defensive play to, to bail you out. As a goaltender – you're the last line of defense. If you get a bad read on a play or if you just happen to miss it with your glove and, you know, the crowd gets on you and, you know, these types of things can wear on, on a young guy. There's zero room for error as a, as, a, as a goaltender. You have to be on it, and if you're not on it, you'll pay the price. Um, so for him to be doing what he's doing at a young age, to me, is, is, is what stands out the most. Uh, Brian Boucher, uh, the Flyers beat the Jets last night, 3-1. Carter Hart, star number one. Uh, good game. Flyers four straight. Busy week. Rangers tonight. Boston Thursday. Edmonton Saturday. Vancouver Monday. Every game on 97.3 ESPN. Boosh, always a pleasure, pal. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.